up folks welcome back to the channel been uh, extremely busy here lately so so busy that I've got a ventilated shirt on now uh, one of the things we've had to fight here for a little while is uh, my water pump would turn on shut off turn on shut off and it was almost within a few seconds from time it shut off that it would turn back on which meant we had a leak somewhere and this is the pump i'm talking about the one that's quiet right now because we fixed the problem with that <clears throat> but here's what happened um we had some people out to do uh the filter change the gravel and and charcoal and stuff inside the filters and change them out two different companies because we've got two different types of filters the second one when we showed him what was going on with the uh, pump going on and off and on and off um, they said they know a guy that can find the leak that's causing the air to bleed off so uh, Said, okay we know for a fact that from this valve right here that from there all the way back to the pump we have no leak because I shut that valve off and the pump shuts off and we get no more, more no more leakage so we also know that from right here the water some, somehow goes up this direction for the bathrooms that are upstairs and somehow goes this direction for the bathroom downstairs and the bathroom upstairs and the two sinks in the kitchen. We assumed it came down through this area here and back over to that valve over there. There's a valve over there. I could shut that valve and we still had the leak. We have an identical valve that goes up the wall back over here on the other side of this fence. I could shut it and we still had the leak. So that told us that it was not any of the bathrooms upstairs and it was not the bathroom downstairs and the bathroom upstairs on this side. So the leak either had to be outside of the house, somewhere around here, somewhere around there, or underneath the kitchen. I was praying it wasn't underneath the kitchen because I really did not want to have to dig up underneath the foundation to come up into it. There's a small crawl space in there about a foot, foot and a half high. And that's where the water pipes and, and pipes to do termite, ex, ex, the termite eradication and, and the water lines that go right over there and the outlet lines for the water that comes out that goes into the septic tank system. So, these guys came out, and they tore out a bunch of these birds of paradise that we had all across here. This was all covered with them. And then started digging down at the this edge of that pipe, and went down and found that it does not tee off right there and continue that way. It all comes this way. So now, all the water lines come here, which meant at this point right here, we assumed there was a T that went that way and that went this way. So they dug down through here and sure enough, they found the valve or found the pipe with the T right here and a line that goes this way. So they dug back to here with it and they started digging back this direction up through here. And at this point right here, they cut the pipe, put a plug on it, turned on the the valves and the pump did not set back and run so that meant the problem was not this way but the problem was from here on this way then something that was I, I just I never used it was a water spigot right here for an outside 
water spigot. I never use this one back here because we have another one just right up at that corner and then all the way around on the front. But I, I, I didn't want to hang a hose right in here and make it hard to walk through this area. So they went ahead and took these rocks out right in here, these paving stones, dug down and they hit water and right next to where the pipe was and then the pipe went into a mess of concrete now this concrete was down below where the foundation comes across which means somebody knew that they had a leak right there and tried to fill the whole thing in right there with concrete to stop it from doing it I don't know when it happened. I, I really doubt that it was when the house was built. I think it's a real good chance that it was a possibility when we had these paving stones put in here that the people we had doing that might have busted that pipe. It had a crack in it about that big right there. That's all. That's all the bigger it was, it was a crack like that, which was enough to bleed off pressure. And it was, it was slight but the pump would run pressure up stop and then five six seven eight seconds later run for another five six seven like seconds to pressure up and then stop and it did that continuously unless we shut this valve off right here so i told him i said hey if that's all it does is to that spigot and not go into the kitchen i said just tap it so they went in there, dug that, chiseled that cement all out that was clobbed up in there. Got in there, and it's a 90 to go straight up to this outside faucet. Sure enough, that's all it was. <coughs> Put a cap on it. <coughs> went ahead and turned everything on. Pump pressured things up and shut off. And that was it. It worked great. Worked beautiful. <coughs> the guy charged us. Get this, you're not gonna believe this. He charged us 1,000 bot labor. It's $30. 300 bot for each of the two guys that were there, 400 bot for him. That's a day's wages. Okay, they were only here a couple, couple hours. And then he had 200 bot worth of materials, connections and valves and stuff, PVC. And that was it, 1,200 bot. If that work had been done in the US, it would have probably been closer to $1,200, 30 times what it cost us to do this. So I, I was tickled to death. Now the guy's coming back and he's gonna do uh, a tank cleanage for us on one of our water tanks. And I'm pretty sure he's gonna do it for less than a thousand baht. So. Okay, folks, this is uh, this is going to be the end of this video on on our little water leak. Um, I took enough fit footage to probably do two full videos uh, and, and two two separate subjects. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just end this video right here on on the water leak and. How, how it, it is really nice to have it working properly now and it's been that way for for a while now that that it was not working right so uh, thank thankfully the wife stayed up on it and kept trying to find somebody that could actually go in there and try and find the leak I had no idea where to start and I hate digging stuff up anyhow so uh, we're going to put an end to this video. There's not going to be a little thing at the end of it. So this is going to be it. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative that there are people out there that can uh, help you out in situations like this. This is something that uh, I really needed somebody that could get in and, and do the excavation and do it knowingly that if they 
went haphazard at it, they were going to end up causing more leaks. So these guys did a real professional job and, and could not have had it done that cheap uh, in my wildest dreams. So hope y'all enjoyed this video and uh, hey, we'll talk to y'all later.